here speaking tonight with Gavin Jordan, who's a trainer from California, won 2.2 million and has four world championships in the bag. Uh, but we're actually going to be speaking to him tonight about something a little different, and that's um, a skill he has for motivation and motivating people. Now, something that's little known about you, Gavin, is that you're also a golf caddy. Tell us about that. Uh, correct. I, I caddy for a guy named Jeff Lamaster. Um, his wife's a cutter here. Um, my son's a golfer and we just got hooked up through the golf, you know, both ways with Jeff and with my son, Jared. Um, and I started caddy for him. I played for a long time, but I, I, my back doesn't allow me to play anymore. Um, so I just go to a lot of these events and caddy for him whenever I've got time away from the cutting. So how did you really get into the caddying side of things? Well, because I can't play anymore, basically. So it, So you love golf and that was the next best thing for you? Absolutely. I love golf. If, if I could do it a full-time profession, golf would be it in any respect. And how did you become Jeff's caddy? Well, we met through the, through the cutting and he needed a caddy one day. Uh, I was at a show at Rancho Marietta. I'd spent 14 days on a horse there. Uh, flew straight to uh, Maricopa, Arizona, where it was 107 degrees and carried his bag for him for four days. And our relationship built from there. Now, he's a professional golfer. What level is he at? He's a, he's a senior tour golfer. Um, he's played some on the uh, Champions Tour, which is the big senior event, um, and he does the mini tours as well. Now, his wife, Michelle, who's won a world championship um, buckle here tonight, um, has said that, uh, Jeff, has said on many occasions that you're the best caddy he's ever had. And when we were talking with her, she said, you know, it's not so much of, you know, which um, club you should use, it's... It's the motivation that you give him at the you know at the right time or not saying anything. What is it that you that you help? What do you see your job as as a caddy? Well, to stay positive. It's the you know like cutting or anything you do that's that's involved in sports or competition that you know you've got to stay positive all the time. And, and we hit a bad shot or we cut a bad cow and we get down on ourselves and and it's I'm kind of there to just pick him up and tell him where we're at and you know pull your socks up and let's get after it again. And if someone does fall into a slump, how do you help them get out of it in the moment? Well, in the moment, you've got to forget everything that's just happened because that's behind and just go on to, to the very next thing. Uh, you know, it's the next run and cutting. It's the next shot you hit in golf, the next putt you hit. Um, but whatever's behind, you're not going to change ever. You may as, you just got to look to the future. Now, we were talking about pressure earlier. How do you deal with pressure? Well, to me, pressure pressure is not real. It's perceived. It's all in our head. There's nothing, you know. They're not going to eat us if we don't do good. So any pressure that there is in sport, it's all it's all put on by yourself. And if you can just get over that hump of, of feeling that of putting that upon yourself, the sport becomes so much easier. Do you um, ever caddy for your son? I do. I do. It's a little harder with him because father and son. But but I try and and use the the experience I've had as a profession, on a professional level with him and I, I'm not dad out there, I'm, I'm there for him and for the same reasons, you know, help him. I don't help Jeff so much with the, with the yardages and stuff because he, he's done it for so long, um, but I help, help Jared with, with club selection and stuff like that and, it, and it's just more mental stuff. So have you applied a lot of um, what you, you know, tell Jeff and, and your son to yourself? Has that been part of your own cutting success and, you know, that 2.2 million you've won? Absolutely. I mean, it. You know, we. Every time we walk down there, we've got to have a clear mind, and uh, and positive. We got. You know, if the cows are bad, so be it. That's what they are. But somebody's going to win that day, and the best thing we can do is make sure it's us. One thing that people would say is, well, you know, there's so many variables. There's so many things I don't have control of. So, you know, there's there's a lot of luck in you know where we get placed in the draw, that kind of thing. Um, how much control do you really have when it comes to your attitude? Your attitude is 100% you. You can't let anybody else control how you think, what you do. It's all, if, if you walk out there and think it's going to be a good day, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a good day. Awesome advice. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Thank you.